First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. What I'm wearing today is the third generation of the Kemimoto battery powered heated vest. Now I have tried both the first and the second generation of the vest and I was very happy when Kemimoto offered me this one to try as well. Now this vest is a combination of the other two in that the first vest had a very durable material, the second vest did not. The first vest unfortunately opened your chest, preventing you from really holding heat here, and the second vest closed it up and kept you very warm. Now what we have with this vest is that it is a significantly more durable material than the second vest. I'd say it's on par or perhaps ever so slightly better than the first generation. However, it covers the neck. The heat being generated here goes up your body and instead of escaping like the first generation is now trapped here. Unfortunately, what we lost from the second generation vest is the heating around the neck. While this does come up fairly well and it does trap heat, there's no heat source in the neck. So unfortunately, that toasty feeling right under your helmet is now gone. Okay, now that we know the differences between the previous vest and this vest, let me show you what we have here. Inside, we have a pocket meant for the battery. This is a great addition. Previously, Kemimoto and other brands have put the battery inside one of your regular pockets. And that meant your hand is sitting here and it's sharing space more or less with a battery. Here we have two large pockets and there's no battery in there, so it's significantly more comfortable. In addition to that, we also have a zipper pocket right here, which I can't unzipper because it'll sound terrible with my mic sitting there. Another significant change for the Kemimoto heated vest is we now have a single power system. You turn the vest on, you select the level you want, you turn the vest off. Previously, there were two settings on the first and there were independent settings for the vest and for the neck on the second. This works just fine. I never turned on just one setting previously. I'm wearing the vest, I wanna be warm. I turn the vest on, and I put it all the way up. Now, I took a ride this past weekend and I talked a lot about this vest while I was wearing it. Previously, I had worn the two vests from Kemimoto as a heated layer below a jacket. However, we had a warm day and I actually just went out more or less the way I am, but with a layer of armor below. Let's take a look at that footage. Welcome to an unusually warm winter day. It is the beginning of February, and while this is normally the coldest part of the year, it's like 45 degrees, which is just absolutely fantastic. So I thought, why not go out like I planned to and see how the Kemimoto 2024 heated vest works. However, since the temperature went up so high, I decided to put on some armor, throw a shirt over it, and find out if the vest will keep me warm enough without a shell on what's effectively early spring weather. After all, I know from testing not one but two Kemimoto heated vests, they're gonna work fine underneath my Climb Carlsbad. I'm gonna put on a base layer, throw the vest on, throw the jacket over it. It's going to produce enough heat and it's gonna be just fine. But I honestly don't know whether or not they do enough heat for spring or fall riding, days like today, where it's gonna be 45, 50 degrees, which is by no means warm, but it's honestly not that cold. And so far, I am doing 63 miles an hour. It's a slightly windy day, and my arms, I'll admit, I'm wearing mesh armor with a uh, 
pull over. That's, that's, that's fairly cold. I am uh, feeling the wind chill, so if my teeth start chattering, it's going to be because of my arms. I've got my Kemimoto heated gloves on, so my gloves are warm. And so far, this vest is working just fine. We are going up into Grafton. We're going to gain a couple hundred feet of elevation. You're not really seeing any snow now, but I bet we will shortly. And we will just spend the next 15 or 20 minutes and see whether or not the vest can produce enough heat to keep my core warm in the low to mid 40s. Well, so far so good. We're climbing, it's getting cooler. Still no real snow, but I can say I'm not cold. Well, except my arms. Try to keep that wind chill up. Oh, look at that beautiful creek. Okay, we are, whew, I don't even know how long, but we are warm. I am riding around the Berlin mountain now, up and down all the small roads. I'm not really going that fast anymore. I think I'm doing 48 now, and that's pretty much as fast as I've been in the last 20 minutes. But I am ready to say that I'm warm. I am remarkably comfortable. Uh, I imagine the temperature's still rising because it's 2 o'clock. It's about the heat of the day, so it could be closer to 50 to 45. And this is pretty much spring and fall riding for me here. And I do believe that I can wear my lightweight, flexible armor, throw a shirt on, and then throw on the Kemimoto heated vest. And that's going to be all I need. Which, honestly, when I get home from work and I'm just looking to do my hour and 10 minute loop. Wow, this is comfortable. I like this, I feel free. I'm not wearing literally a 30 pound jacket up here. So I'm gonna say this vest is a little bit better than the other two. I'll talk more about that when we are in the studio, but if you are buying a heated vest battery operated i think this is a really good solution i'm out here comfortable it's certainly not 50 so i've got a t-shirt on i've got a pullover on and this vest and i am riding in the first week of february in upstate new york i gotta say that's not bad at all it's certainly doing a good job but we well i hope that does a very good job of letting you know how I feel about wearing this vest. The important thing I took away from having the vest for the past month and a half was I don't reach for my other vests anymore. I do believe that this is the best of the three. I certainly do believe that the second generation vest has a value. If it was very cold, it really helps having the heat around the neck. That said, overall, this vest is definitely warmer than either of those. And I simply don't recommend the first vest any longer because so much heat escapes. It comes out of the vest and goes right out of your chest. While warmer than the second one, too much heat escapes. It's just not as valuable. So if you're looking for a heated vest, I certainly recommend the third generation Kemimoto vest. As of right now, they're all available and they're all remarkably close in price. This one is definitely the one I would go with. All right, if you stuck around, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you and take care.